I'm just doing social media posts now. And then we're gonna be good to go. Oh my god. That's all the social media posts accounted for. And close all of those and focus on real shit. Uh, before starting, I'm going to just play the first a uh, cutscene as setting the tone. I guess I'll play the the first two because they're basically connected. So, um, I'm hoping to play to the end of the game here. Uh, this is the traditional youngest child save file since uh, 1998 or whatever the heck this came out. I should switch scenes now. There we go. Also have a uh, hit. Uh, Hey Moon, uh, I've I, I've also activated the new technology for the stream. Yeah, Kirby sixty four is my favorite N sixty four game. Forgot about Scarfies. Bit out of practice. I got. I guess I should say uh, a thing about the about about the ability mixing. 
Uh, there's like five or so base elements. Uh, electricity and fire is this one. I know I'm gonna need a particular one later though, so I'm gonna get Spike. That should do me well for a while. Uh, I don't think it was rock I needed. Ooh. This is one of the last levels of the game, but it is a remixed version of the first level. It begins with that little path, then there's a boss arena. This guy. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, I am going to need the bomb guy. Uh, there we go. Yeah, basically, all of the abilities in this game are more than sufficient. I needed a bomb and needle because that was an orange and black. Uh, yeah, that was an orange and black barrier. Uh, I want to get that card, but I don't think I got the angle right. Oh well. Where's my guy? Uh, anything over here? It's a single star. Alright. I'm gonna have to bring Spark into this stage, cause that's, uh, yeah, that's yellow. That should be easy to do later, though. How is this? This, there we go. I'm getting a little tired of uh, that, so I'm gonna grab something else. Thank you, King. I gotta move my TXT file with the abilities I need to get. Yeah. Is this guy neutral? Yeah. Oh, that guy was Cutter. I might want that. I'm just gonna try and respawn him. There we go. Alright, so I got Cutter. Oh! Cutter and Spike is a bit basic, but it's. but it is effective. We'll see what else we got here. Unlike uh, Mario's hops, which are lethal to those below him, Kirby's hops are lethal to those above him. 
And that's something that I can... I don't need the tomato. But I will take pleasure in obtaining it anyways. Oh. Yeah, I don't have a way to swim downwards. Uh, at least not in the way that I can rise. Uh, there's a second shard. Um, I wanted to do some... This might end up being a really short stream, uh, but I do like the mini games, so I could do those if I manage to beat the game in like an hour. Where's that hole? There's that hole. Oop. Now we're cooking. Yeah, that was a very short level. Card was easy to get. Um, I'm gonna need a particular combo for this one. We'll see if I get the right enemies. Uh, fire is one that I need. And Thorn was the other one, or Spike. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, I hope there's another fire enemy. I'm pretty sure these guys are rock. Yeah, I, I don't think there. this is a thing in any other Kirby game, but, um, uh, there are certain enemies that you can, uh, after you've, like, inhaled an enemy, there can be a point before you've swallowed them. Okay, I want the fire guy. Oop. There we go. There we go. Um, there can be a point, like, after you've inhaled them and they're just in Kirby's mouth before he's, like, swallowed them and a fun effect. Uh, these guys might, uh, I can't do it now because, um, I have a power. Uh, these guys might make you bounce. Uh, I know the Umbrella guys make you, uh, fly slower and there's other enemies that allow you to, uh, Yeah, I'm not doing a very good job timing my shots with this thing. That's what I needed, the... Yeah, there's a few different enemies that you can, you know, capture them by inhaling them, but then take them out of your mouth and they'll allow you to glide or hover or... Of course... Kirby already has the power flight. Uh, this is one of the few games where, like, he can actually get exhausted, though. Like... Yeah, like, now he's, you know, running out of air and all, eventually. Yeah, Kirby 64 is... Um... Kirby 64 is a bit of a weird one. Uh, but uh, it was the only one I played for a while. Now I really like... Let me... Ah, uh, I want to get a cutter with the laser, but... Uh, or a cutter with spark, but I'll set it for just spark for now. Yeah, 
that guy's neutral. Uh, whoops. Now well. Yeah, this was, like, the only Kirby game I played for a while, so I took, like, the, like, the copying, uh, well, there's always a copy mechanic. This one's unique in the, uh, in the combinations, though a few of them returned in, uh, Star Allies? Yeah. Yeah, Bronto Bird is the one that you can, uh, put in your mouth and it lets you fly a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can get this guy. Ow. Another card in a really convenient place. And we're on Miracle Matter already. Um, I'm gonna leave that first Crystal Shard there for a bit, uh, just to like make sure I get the bad ending. get rid of this because I think this one I kind of need to get I think you need to um you need to like get him with whatever he is yeah he gets a sh uh yeah you need to hit him when uh yeah, I only went in with two, so I was kind of expecting that to happen. Um, yeah, you have to hit him with whatever element uh, the the form is at the time. So if it's in the sort of neutral dodecahedron, or if you're too late. Ah, that should have hit off more. Ah, oh, well. That's pretty good. Let's be able to get three blows. It's a, it's it's a, it's the late game. This is where Kirby belongs. Ah, uh, didn't quite make it. Whoop. And it just you wait until you see the final boss of this game. It's pretty good. Like, I guess it's still kind of like... Like, simple shapes because it's the N64, but... Yeah, that didn't work because I had... Whoop! Yeah, I had Thorn inhaled, but he'd already changed to Rock. And that was just me being dumb. This sucker's got way too much health. I, re I remember this fight being a pain, even like playing through as an adult. Ooh, we haven't seen ice yet. 
Come on. Yeah. Usually sucking, uh, sucking up more than one should do double damage. Whoop. Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be the case for this guy, which is a shame because he's got Mondo health bar. Actually, I wonder if a strat would be coming in with a uh, coming in with a combined ability, so you'd be able to hurt him during two phases, because usually that's what would dissuade you from uh, using an ability which, uh, generally makes the bosses, uh, a little trivial. It's not good that it's this early on and I already took two dumb hits. Yeah, this was one that I was really dumb for, so I'm gonna try and pay attention. And I already got hit by it. Ah. Not quite. Yeah, this one's pretty easy because it's going to be the same every time. I think there might also be an element where it's like you need to destroy like every individual element. Like it's not just like... It's not good enough to like only get the spike phase. You have to... Uh, get everyone. Which might be another reason why you can't uh, bring abilities in. Didn't get hurt that time, which is an improvement on the other rock ones. Alright, this one I should be good for. Ow. Ooh. Ah, I hit the DVD corner. should be able to get two on that one. Yeah, I think uh, I should be able to get it this time, assuming I don't make any really grievous mistakes. For most of them, I've figured out a reasonably ah effective way I do that, as I miss every single time on the cutter phase. Whoa. 
was about to say fire's the really easy one, but then it uh, switched it up on me. Yeah, this one's usually not too bad, but just not being able to gauge the uh, Z location of the uh, of the orbiting pyramids means that sucker shots are gonna happen sometimes. Whoop. This one's pretty. Can. There we go. Trying not to get owned by rocks. Well, got owned by rocks. Whoops. Oh well, this works as well. <laughs> yeah. You can swallow the, uh, the little things and get abilities, but because of the whole, uh, shield things, it's generally not worth it to do them. Haven't, haven't gone bomb yet, which is usually not too, too scary, but if I kind of get trapped in the corner like last time, that might be a problem. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so jumping for that might actually be the way to go. In terms of, instead of having two rock elements collide to become a double rock element, I can sneak it over the ones that are sitting on the ground. because of the same mistake twice. Because usually... Yeah, usually the corners are pretty safe for that, but... <laughs> Great start. Just constantly getting owned by the bomb version. No, I'm just. Yeah, I'm just. Go I'm just gonna game over and then get back at this with uh, full health again. Now 
was no time at all. Oh. This poly- <laughs> This polygon will rue the day it- isn't going hot either. This one I should at least be able to get three off. Problem with, um, yeah, the problem with hanging out, uh, not hanging out in the corners for the bomb one is that there's so much less room. You know, between me and the boss here. But if it's all- but if the, uh, little bomb bubbles are always leaving at diagonals, then immediately underneath it might be the safest spot. Okay, I'm doing okay. I was hoping I might be able to get all of these in one, but it doesn't look like it. got one health left, but the boss is also only two hits away. I'm just trying to be very careful. Ugh. Okay. Cutter, I should be completely safe in the corner. Just wait for it to return to center. Oh, just missed it. Okay. Doesn't seem like bombs in the rotation, though. Oh, may have spoken too soon, because... Got two hits left. There we go. Oh, it's another cutter! It's, it's fine, it's cool, this is good, this is fine. There we go. Horrifying. Thank you for uh, thank you for your support. 
Couldn't have done it without you. Oh, but what's this? So that's the bad end. Uh, after this I'm gonna grab the last shard and then uh, go toward and uh, get the true final boss. Beautiful. This was sort of like an era of, uh, good job, Sakurai. Uh, this was the era of sort of traditional aesthetics for Kirby, because there's a sort of crayon look for Dreamland 3 and Superstar Sakurai. Well, I think the idea of the credits here is that it's Adeline there, who's... Uh, drawing them. And this is the uh, mm, mysterious fellow. And this is the uh, the bad end version of the credits. I do want to check the enemy info cards I got, though. And I don't... There was one file that I guess was my brother's that we did get all of the enemy cards in, and I don't know how much he played the game because... Uh, here I am at the end of it, and... I don't know, maybe I'm just kind of bad at the mini games at the end of stages, but... I don't have a ton of them. I do have Kiki. You see her in the background of a couple of stages, uh, like the one at the very beginning of Ripple Star at the beginning. Scarfy, this son of a bitch. Uh, they don't have Scarfy revealing his true form here, but. Uh. Yeah. It's not, um... It's a little sinister, but it's really not bad. I do need to get, uh, a spark ability. Uh, this was the stage, uh, we always went to when we were kids because we wanted a particular ability. Actually, uh, because there are a lot of different uh, enemies here in the first couple of areas. Yeah, I never liked um, just basic rock that much because of how slow it is. And double rock is just it, like. Except bigger, which was always, I thought, a bit of a... I guess the invincibility is one perk. Okay. Need to time... Okay. Spark rock, now we're good to go. Uh, a very nice thing is that uh, you don't have to complete a stage in order to, uh, I guess, sort of like save a progress in terms of you can get a crystal shard and then immediately quit and 
uh, you can still keep it. You can get a crystal shard and die and you still keep it, which is very nice. Yeah, there's the key keys I was talking about. Yeah, and you can get, like, an ability in one stage. And then immediately leave. And get to keep it. Yeah. And... Uh, gotta defeat Miracle Matter again. <laughs> I forgot about that part. Maybe I wouldn't have left a crystal shard out if I'd uh, remembered. But... I've grown from my experiences. And... No longer fear the... Fear the polygon. Awesome. Rock is out of the way. Hopefully bomb won't be terrible. Oh, <laughs> That's a good start. I have learned I have learned things from my experience with Miracle Matter. I have not grown from my experience with Miracle Matter. I am explicitly not a smarter, more skilled, better person. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Ah, uh, just at the end of the in invincibility frames. I looked at the health bar and I started feeling pretty good, but... Uh... I do only have one life le left, so... At least bombs out of the way. Which is one of the more chaotic ones. This one, it's you know very easy to just stand in the corner. Ooh. Great, fantastic. Two more. Okay, this guy's... This one is absolutely no problem. Oh, it's just this one again. Alright, yeah, this... This one's made. Alright, we've exercised the evil fairy queen. The 
hatred in her heart grows into an entire planet. Everything is going according to plan. Uh, Kirby has a cell phone in the mid-90s because he is very on top of the latest business trends. And people are very demanding of his time. Her going straight into it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> You can't fly when you have something inhaled, so... Yeah. Yeah. This is the true heck that resides at the core of Kirby 64. Anything over here? Just one of these. What are these guys called? Like a. Like Nikki or something is kind of coming to mind to me. I don't know what other games they appear in. All of your friends get to help you one last time before the final boss. If I'd taken any damage, she would have given me a maximum tomato instead of a one up. And here we are. I think I should be aiming for the eye a bit more. Man, those those particle effects really get out there. There we go. Gotta break the halo, avoid the green smoke. Yeah, no, this rules. Uh, Kirby is very infamous for getting kind of like a uh, galaxy horror near the end of the games with the final bosses. And I think uh, I think 64 is one of the most notorious with a zero two here. His particles are just going all over the place. Oh, just like immediately taking a hit off the. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to avoid those. Yeah, those little red explosion thingies. I guess just keep moving. Yeah, this is one of the uh, most. Uh, to me, this is one of the most iconic boss fight themes. Uh, I I still love it and love different renditions of it. Uh, there's a, a jazz version that was um, that was for the Kirby Cafe as well as. Um, and uh, I got I got the CD of the Kirby Cafe track. That's... that's very good. Yeah, they actually, um... Oh, I don't remember his wings breaking off as the fight, uh, went on. Yeah, Marks from, um, Superstar, uh, was actually a boss in, um was actually a boss in Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, that was very fun. Because um, I'm, I'm playing on... Yeah, I'm playing on original hardware and I don't have my Switch dock in here, so it would be hard to hook that up really quick. But uh, Marks is a boss uh, in Smash... The, the clown from... Uh, 
Kirby uh, Superstar is a Boston Ultimate, and he's also kind of horrifying. I'm trying to think if Zero Two ever got a, uh... Might have been a sticker in Brawl, but... Yeah, again, for the longest time, uh, this was the only Kirby game I played, and so... To me, this guy was, like, the ultimate... Uh, I guess, idea of... You know, where Kirby lore... Uh... The Alpha and the Omega. Uh... But he doesn't... Doesn't appear in any later games, it's generally... It's generally a different existential threat from the stars that... Um... Shows up in each game. Should... there we go. Health bar isn't going down much, though I imagine I'm... I've gotta be... close. Yeah, this music is so good. Oh! There we go. Oh. Still wanna play? Okay. Band-aid, band-aid, band-aid. Come on. Home for the band-aid. Alright. I don't think there's anything else I need to be doing. Though it is disconcerting not seeing the uh, health bar going down. Uh, you you actually can play as uh, some of the enemies, including Marks, and he has some of his like really unnerving moves, where like his face spits in half and forms a void, and um, he like spits up eyeballs and shit in Kirby Star Allies. Uh, Ribbon here and uh, Adeline, another one of the. Uh, friend characters in here are uh, together uh, as like a single sort of like playable character unit and uh, that's very fun and very cute. They have little animations Whoop. they have little animations of having like a friendship handshake and uh, there's some aerial moves um a lot of their aerial moves are like the crystal gun here, and it's- I remember relying on that a lot because it's just- it's- it's very good to be able to send, like, projectiles straight ahead of you to the opposite side of the screen. Okay. Okay. Broke the second halo. Is there a third one that I need to keep an eye out for? Uh, Star Allies for the Switch. It wasn't... Ooh. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Uh, it wasn't uh, as tight uh, 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 like it's, it's basically you can button mash your way through the entire game and win. Uh, versus the other recent uh Uh, both single player and multiplayer Kirby games. I guess basically Return to Dreamland being the biggest around that time that had multiplayer. Um, uh, but Star, Star Allies was still like, it still had 
a lot of fun little aspects to it. It had a lot of, like, really cute set pieces and jokes and stuff. Um... Yeah, the bosses had a lot of personality, and, uh, I remember the last boss being... You know, it's, it's kind of hard, uh... You know, when when the series has a reputation for cosmic horror, what am I missing here? Um, to sort of like ramp it up each time, but I do remember the final boss of Star Allies being uh, pretty buck wild. Uh, Star Allies was kind of cool in terms of. Uh, I feel like he absolutely should have been taken down a while ago, so I guess whenever I get hit next I'm gonna look up what it is I'm missing. Because hitting him in the eye doesn't seem to be taking down the health bar, hitting him in the bandage doesn't seem to be taking down the health bar. I could try aiming for the tail, but I feel like if it was the tail, uh, like when it gets all green and fetid. Uh, but I feel like I should have been able to take it... I should have been, like, dealing more damage, if that was the case. Oh, it is the tail! Son of a bitch! I thought this was just sort of like a desperation mode that you had to avoid. Alright, let's see how far I can get on my, uh, final health. Yeah, they're great. Okay, now I know what I'm doing. Oh, Queen Sectonia was another one I really liked. She was uh, Kirby Super Deluxe, and it's just like, like a very, a very pretty Ojo Sama giant bee. Uh, I loved her aesthetic. Like in general, I think the Kirby games um, are. Ex are uh, pretty exceptional when it comes to, like, art direction and aesthetics. I think they've got, like, a great sense. Like, even the early ones, um... Uh... Taking, like, very simple, like, Game Boy sprites and still giving them personality. Uh, and part of the reasons why, um, I love Kirby 64 so much, uh, is, um, I, thi I think the style of it holds up to a certain degree. Like, the graphics are definitely crude, but just, like, the choices in terms of, like, this design is just, like, so simple but so effective in terms of the boss. Um, all of the stages actually have, like, completely different themings. It's like you're not going to be in two grass stages. Uh, every... Uh, every stage is just completely unique art.
yeah, definitely the fact that um, it's not going for high fidelity the way, like, Ocarina of Time uh, might have. The fact that, you know, a lot of the charm of, you know, not just Kirby himself, but uh, other characters and other designs and other aspects in the universe um, are about, like, the simplicity. Uh, even the crystal shards themselves, they're, like, they're eight polygons, but they just have, like, this beautiful color gradient to them. And, like, Kirby's shitty little crystal gun that he has here, like, I just, I just find so appealing. Whoop. Yeah, we'll see how far this goes. Okay, that's good. If I get two crowns in a row, this might do it. Ooh. Uh, get that stink away from me. Come on. Uh, get that stink away from me, but also be near enough that I can actually hit. I, I mean, I could be crude and say that's his dick. I, I could do that. Yeah, even the, uh, you know, the later game. Yeah. That was... Also just, like, this This is a great game over screen. Just take a moment here. Yeah. The later Kirby games, um, like on, on the 3DS, they they really shine with the modern uh, te the modern textures and the modern lighting. Uh, but really, at the core of it is just yeah, we got Dark Star, the final level unlocked now. But really, at the core of it, it's just like... Uh, people who are experts with the design fundamentals of shape and color. You know, we can even, like, see here in terms of this is, uh, fundamentally, like, very simple, these hexagon platforms, but, you know, the way they pulse, uh, yeah, Kirby's exhalation is also a weapon. Uh, the fact that you see, like, the blue and green ones in, like, the background. The sort of translucent ones in the foreground that sort of add depth. Uh, that's another thing I found, like, especially, especially... Maybe, uh, Kirby 64... is one of the strong ones in that because, you know, it is the first game to be 3D, but I find the idea of having, like, a foreground and a background and uh, sort of, like, framing the scene around it um, is another thing that the, uh, that the Kirby set dressers and level designers seem to have, consistently have a very strong grasp of. I like the, um, I like the 2.5D in Kirby 64, I like, uh, I like the rounder rooms where you're on a curved or circular path and, uh, the camera shifts as you go along it, it's, yeah, I already said before, it's, 
It's my favorite N64 game. It's... I guess there you could say there's an elegance to it. Almost bordering on crude in how simple it is sometimes in terms of how simple the copy abilities are to just completely abuse them. No worry. Me worry. We got- we got him lower than half. This is good. I ever realized that our birthdays were so close together because you said recently that yours was going to be on the 4th. Uh, here we go. Here we go. It might not be enough to... Yeah. Yeah, it's... It's coming. Yeah, today- yeah, today is my birthday. Thank you! I love to spend it with... Uh, Kirby, my... One of my favorite orbs. it is about winter birthdays that I think is like, what are you doing? That seems fake. Like, fall birthdays, like, I 100% get. Spring birthdays, whatever. Summer birthdays, completely normal. Winter birthdays are weird. Anyways, he's dead now. You'll always be in my heart. Star Wars. And now we got the good credits, which are in color. Yeah. Mmm, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's, at least this year we were able to do patio dining. Uh, wasn't able to go out like, uh, like I usually would for my birthday last year. Uh, but I, I'm not a- I'm not a heat person. So I generally- 
I generally don't like sitting out in the hot air. But this, uh, this year was alright in terms of temperature at least. But yeah, I can imagine 4th of July being a big pain in the ass. What was it? I guess it, w it was Victoria Day weekend, which is uh, a fireworks holiday in Canada um, was, was back in May uh, and I was just I was just not into it <laughs> uh, I, I was hearing like fireworks at 10 o'clock at night it's just like man leave me alone I don't, I don't want to have to deal with this I guess that's Uh, been sort of an overwhelming opinion as of late is people just being like, man, I don't want to, I don't want to have to deal with this. I don't. People can take their noises and their smells, and they can go else. Where? All right. Um, that was. Oh boy, I got sound check. I'm gonna try and get to factory inspection. These are cutscene musics. Still cutscene musics. Are there less than 40 stages? I guess so. Ooh. Oh, that's Shiver Star. know what order these are because this is like stage music it might be due to titles in which case it's like it's basically a um ooh this is a jam though yeah it's basically uh, Okay, so the last ones are all the cutscene musics. So This is the stage music. The early ones. Oh. Oh, here it is. Factory Inspection is one of my favorites uh, from this game, and there was a really good remix of it for. Planet Robobot, I want to say, because that was the one that had, like, the factory aesthetics. The factory and robot and technology aesthetics. I was gonna put it on for, like, the pre-stream, but then I realized, oh, I haven't been the game, which means I haven't unlocked the sound check. I guess I could have used one of the other files, but it's here. Um, 
Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna do... Yeah, that was a lot shorter than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be, like, two hours to finish stuff off, but Ripple Star just, like, flew by. So I'm gonna... Oh, right, the difficulty comes at the end. I'm gonna do some of the mini games. Uh, gonna warm up with normal. Uh, don't come to the crop unless you're ready to get bumped. Ah, uh, Waddle D is. Surgeon ahead. Oof, glad I didn't get the splash of that. Ah, oh, Waddle Dee! Enjoy your single apple, boys. I absolutely do need to keep... Well, I, I do have twice his amount, but... Man, Waddle Dee just keeps... Sneaking more in there. Uh, King Didi thought he could just stay by the side and no one would notice. Yeah, don't come to the bumper crop unless you're ready to get bumped! Let's see. Let's see how intense bumper crop gets. I have a feeling this is gonna get pretty absurd. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, purple D is. Okay, excellent. Purple D got bombed. Whoa! That was a close one for me. They got me. These animals. It does raise a couple of. Whoop. I guess upsetting questions as to why Adeline is the only human being in the entire Kirby series. I mean, it'd be one thing if they were just not present at all. Not a great showing for me. I got bumped. Um. If they were just not present at all, but the fact that there's one human... Which... It's like, where did she come from? Was she born from an egg? Did, did she... Is she made from stardust? Alright, it's Checkerboard Chases. The real shit. Where you separate the boys from the men. And I got separated. Uh, I fought... <laughs> I 
I thought B was the uh, was the button for beam, but it was actually A. Nope. Whoa. Yeah, I just got stuck there a couple times. Uh-oh. 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 Whew. I forgot to mention it during the last uh, Bumper Cop run, but I forgot that the uh, purple DDD was the second DDD player color. It's a cute look. Oh! Yeah, I got bumped. I'll do that again. See if I can improve on my performance. Wow. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, checkerboard chase is the real shit. I get better at not letting myself get caught in these corners. Oof. Oof. As I get extremely caught in a corner. Oof. Ooh. Don't like this. Got him. Oh, uh, stay away from me. Oh my god. They're animals. Okay, I finally got to take Kirby down a peg, but he also got me at the same time. Oh no. Invincible. Yeah, these are very mi these are very good mini games. Again, I think, uh, like this is one of the games that like we would pack up and like bring to my grandmother's to play with our cousins. Because, uh, like, the mini games, like, on their own are just, like, real solid. 100 yard hop. Uh, hop two space, hop one space. Uh, I'm gonna start normal here just to. Ooh, tell me how the new Mario Golf is, because that does look kind of interesting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not in the best hopping shape of my life. No. Rookie mistake. Oh. I tried to avoid the frog and everything. Alright. I, I screwed up a lot. Hmm. Alright. 
right. Time for the hard hop. Yeah, the computers have the starting timing off. I have I was about to say I have years of experience on my st side, but this video game is frankly about as old as I am, so I guess I am a bit older. There we go. No no problem. Easy game. Double Dean and Double D. Pink Adelt Pink Adel line might give me a run for my money. I missed the timing on the turtle, and now I think she's got me. Oh my god, these guys were fast. But I guess that's what, uh... Yeah, I guess four players is kind of what you expect, though. I guess... I guess for online play... I guess for online play now, you kind of want more than that, because people are doing online play more for, like, larger friend groups and parties and stuff because you can't do stuff in per in person. Uh you can't really uh you can't really pass the uh controller around in a circle for online. Well, I guess there's some uh stuff that you sort of set up like that in terms of Ah, shit. Uh, DDD coming from my neck. Holy shit. These computers. Yeah, I don't have- ooh, that might have been a fatal mistake, but uh, I don't have the uh, the timing for the cooldown. Uh, I should have been more greedy with that turtle, but... Oh! Oh my god! Got him! I think I'll, uh... Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna let it end on that... Uh... On that stunning victory. Yeah. There's Kirby64. It's... I like it. It's got a spooky boss. It's got colors. It's got sounds. It's a great video game. I completely forgot that I had a freaking VTuber on here uh, the entire time. That was... That was its own little adventure. Uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, and...
Uh, having, having a good time. It's good. Yeah, yeah, good man. <laughs>